Oh, what is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis is here. We're back in the world of all the mod six, and uh, we've we've made some changes. So first off, uh, I moved our entire Batania setup from down here to up here. Um, I made a second mana pool because I was going to run up here a very specific plant. It's called the Jaded Am Am Amaranthus. If you've watched me play Minecraft for a while, um, I have used this plant before. It basically spawns other plants. And then if it spawns another plant of the same type on top of that plant, it makes doubles. So you can end up with quite a few plants very quickly. Um, so I transferred some mana up to here and let it run for a bit. Um, got everything we needed to make more endo flames and then we upgraded the endo flames so normal endo flame i've shown how to make that that's pretty easy to get the upgraded endo flame though you have to make one of these so you need a pasture seed which is real easy just take shears go find some grass trim it and throw it in the mana pool and that'll give you the pasture seed once you have that though then you need to make glimmering uh, plants. Now only some of the plants can be glimmering, but it will let you do you, you can use any of the glimmering plants hmm. Sorry about that once you do you got your little floating thing and then you combine that with the end of flame and now you have a floating end of flame So I have three stack or sorry five stacks of three here So 15 plants and then I have five set up to each uh, roughly each of the mana spreaders and uh, it can pretty much keep up. Actually, I think I have, it might be six to the top. Uh, I think it's slightly imbalanced, but um, either way, they are split up. And you can see we're at almost a full set of mana. Uh, past couple nights, I have gone off and killed Enderman, uh, which has allowed me to get these. Uh, we are gonna use this real quick to make the fourth Ender Pearl that we need. Uh, now that I have four ender pearls, I will be able to make ender pearl seeds and we won't have to worry about ender pearls ever again. Um, I'm hoping I still have enough glowstone because I used, I had to use a lot of glowstone. There it is. Yeah, we got plenty. I'd use a lot of glowstone for the glimmering plants because each plant requires two. I have 15, so that's roughly what, 30? So that uh that kind of sucked uh you'll notice i have two sparks here i'm hoping the sparks will communicate because we're going to try and make terra steel again um and the wife has promised me that this will work i'm missing something <coughs> oh there it is ah yes a diamond, not a problem, not a problem. I think I've got, yeah, we've got diamonds. No big deal, no big deal, my friend. All right, so let's throw the diamond in here, which will give us that other diamond. Okie dokie, Smokey, boom, boom, bam. There we go, let's watch the mana drain here real fast. Holy shit, look at that thirsty bitch. Look at that. Wow. So yeah, we were nowhere near the mana requirement last time. There it goes. Booyah! Danza in the dark. Two eyes circling. If you, if you get that reference, eyes in the dark, two eyes circling. Without Googling it, I'm looking at you. That's right, without Googling it, then uh, you get uh, you get some special kudos and then you're definitely a, a 90s kid. All right, so now that we have the Terra Steel, that's gonna allow us to make pot. There we go. Interesting. I didn't realize we could make it with... This looks like a new recipe. Oh, fuck that. Okay, yeah. Huh. Nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nope right out. Alright, so we need two Terra Steel Nuggets, and then we need a Hopper Hawk. A Hopper Hawk Flower. So... 
I need two gray, two light gray, a rune of air, and a redstone root. Okay, I think we've got all that. So a redstone root, well, let's do, okay, so there's two light gray, uh, and then we need two gray, which is just one plant. Oh, that was a double, I didn't realize it was a double. Uh, and then we need a rune of air, which I've got. And then a hopper hawk, or no, not a hopper hawk, a uh, redstone, which I think is just, I just made one of these, excuse me. I think it's just this and this. Okay, it's not. Shit, sleep. It'd be too easy if it was that easy. All right, so, wait, is that a raid? That's a raid. Hey, we're raiding your shit. We're killing your people. I'm like, I don't care. Do your worst. All right. Uh, pot. All my civilians are like, are you fucking serious? You madman? I'm like, yeah, yeah, 10 a.m. All right, grass. It wants grass. That's easy. I knew it was a simple recipe. I just didn't realize, remember what the recipe was. Okie dokie. And then... Is that going in? Sorry. Yes. Okay, so I'll need probably seeds for it to complete at the end. So I've got you. Seeds, seeds. I know we've got seeds. Because I was just making a shit ton of these. Did I put the seeds up somewhere else? They're going to jump me over here now. I wonder if my guys put up a fight. Or do they just die like villagers? Guess we'll find out here in a second when I get... <laughs> oh, well, I guess they're dying like villagers, because that's... That's the second or third one to die right there. I, I kind of feel bad, but... At the same time, not so much. Alright, so boom. And then it's... Two. And then two... And then there we go. And so you can see it says Hopper Hawk. I put that there. Oh my god, we're gonna need a lot of these. That's gonna be kind of a pain. Okay, and so now that I've got this, I turn that into that. That gives me two Terra Steel Nuggets. And then we're gonna do it with the one. Oh boy. Ah, uh, our, our builder finally died. I kind of feel bad, because he's been working hard for us, and then I just let him fucking die. Yeah, I've been uh, burning through a lot of this tree stuff over here, and then uh, regrowing them over here, uh, and then cycling out the stuff in these two furni for uh, the stuff. Good God. We just burned through, like, legit... Probably an hour's worth of coal work. At least. What are we at now? Are we back to... Okay, so that's not so bad. Yeah. So I throw that there. I think it's what, 25 left? Yeah. So that pulls all 15. Um, but yeah, that works. That works. I like that. Okay, so let's come back over here. And then... Honestly, I think... We're just gonna do it like this. Wait, wait. No. Is it breaking all three or just one? Okay, just one. Because we're gonna need an absolute asinine amount of this stuff. So I'm curious. We pull this out and then we have the red. Um, we're gonna be doing these in a different area, um, probably over here. So I'm gonna, do I have still the wood? I do. Let's make a few chests. Yeah, there we go. Should give me four chests, yep. All right. And uh, there you go, that's how you get grass, by the way, for those who are curious. Okay, so we're gonna do it like this and go boom, 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 boom. Um, 
You know what? We'll just build another crafting table over here. Because we're going to probably be doing a little bit of crafting here for the time being. Okay, so hopper hook, um, you, and then terra steel, terra steel. And now we have a small pot for growing many kinds of plants. Can automatically harvest the crop, putting it in the inventory below. All right, so this is now you're thinking with hoppers. We put that one here, and then you can see there's a hole in the bottom. And then we're going to do the tier four dirt for now. And then I should be able to just put that in there. And then the, we don't want the lapis lazuli seeds. We just want normal infernium seeds. And there we go. And that's going to pop every 30 seconds. So we're going to give that a minute to do its thing. Um, I have enough of this. So we're going to need another couple air, air rune. There we go. What is required for this? Feather and string. So the feather is going to be the real pain in the ass part because there's not many chickens around here. It is daytime. I can show you where I got my last chicken and then we'll swing back by and take a look at the, uh, the plant. Uh, I'm leaving these up for now, but like I said, we're probably going to disassemble the city because we don't need it anymore. Um, yeah, it's a cool idea, and yeah, there's some cool stuff we could do with it, but um, we're fixing to be into agriculture, agricultural crops or whatever you call it, and oh, it's just not necessary. So um, if we have to play with it later on, we might. Here's our chickens. How many feathers? That's two. There used to be a ton of chickens over here. Uh, I see two cows, a wolf. I absolutely love this mini map. This mini map makes it, uh, I think it's just the standard mini map that I've always used. I don't remember what it's called. Um, I almost called it JEI, but I don't think that's accurate. Map Rider maybe? I don't know. Either way, I'm a big fan because it makes, it makes hunting critters down so much easier. The problem, though, is, like, here with chickens, there's just not many critters. So, uh, it has made finding intermin easy. I will give it that. But yeah, it's, for some reason, it's like a lot of the critters have died off. There might be a entity limit, maybe, or something? But there were a massive amount of critters over here when I first spawned, and now there, there's just not many. And I don't know a lot about vanilla mob spawn ranges. Um, I know you can get like rabbits in the desert. And I know you can get endermen in deserts. But I, I don't know. Like if I need chickens, I don't know if this is the best place to look for them. Um, it's, a, it's a taiga and a giant tree taiga or taigia? I don't know how to say that. I'm sure, I'm sure one of you guys who's a... Uh, who's a biological uh, English major will jump out and, and bust my ass for the, the proper pronunciation of the biomes because uh, Lord knows I am probably not doing it right. Um, if we actually had two more feathers, we could make a feather plant, which seems... What the fuck is this? Okay. We're going to run real quick. I guess we'll just go back home and then I can peek over into the desert real fast and let me know if there's any, uh, any chicky chickens over there. It's funny. I see a ton of squids that might be beating up part of our entity IDs. I hope, it, I hope not, but we'll see. All right, let's hit the desert real quick. See if we see any chickens. We've got two feathers, but I'd like... Alright, those are rabbits. Just give it a sec. Get a very angry zombie to our east, a skelly to our south. And I don't know if you guys see all the little endermen killing spots I've got spread out through here. Got quite a few. There's another one way out there that I used. Yeah, I don't see any... Uh, 
any of our little buddies, the uh, the chickens. So, do I have a... Of course, I don't have any eggs. Why would I have eggs? Make it just too easy, right? Oh, well. All right, let's head back over here and take a quick look at how the plant's doing. So, we've got six inferior essence. Not too bad. Not too bad. And there it goes. It's at the max, it looks like. Instant. Perfect. Perfect. So, what I'll do uh, probably over the next couple days is start working my way through these. Um, we are just going to, I mean, unfortunately, since we do need so much Inferium, it's going to probably require me to just sit here and let the crops just harvest themselves. But um, we're going to unlock a bunch of seeds and then probably get into looking at, I'm going to need a tree because I, I want to automate this over here, especially since we're going to need some more Terra Steel. Um, we're going to look at ways to automate this. We're going to look at ways to automate a tree farm. Um, and then I kind of want to reorganize the whole base, which will probably involve cutting down the villages over there. And then play around with create, get a quarry or two going. I don't know if this pack has multiple worlds. Um, like either back in the day you had Mistcraft and you had, uh, what is it, Dimensional Doors, I think it was. <sighs> So you can go to other places, like a mining dimension or something along those lines, and, and do all your, your nasty there. But um, if I can't find anything here, then we'll just probably tear up. I don't know. I'll let you guys pick. Where, where would you want me to tear the world up? Uh, I'd rather not do the desert because we kind of... Well, I guess we don't need the ender pearls anymore. So I guess it's up to you guys where you'd like me to tear things up. So let me know in the comment section. Uh, as always, I do read all of my comments, so if you have a comment, tip, trick, or criticism, please feel free to leave it down there. If I use whatever you say or, you know, it hurts my feelings particularly epically, I will mention you in the uh, the next episode and get your shout out, whether it's a good one or, or not. Um, that being said, do hit the like button. That helps, you know, fight off the YouTube algorithm. Let's youtube know my content's worth it which promotes me to other people which brings in more folks which encourages me to do more um etc etc uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do so that helps out as well and i will see you guys probably probably doing episodes all week next week so stick around i'll catch you guys in the next clip